Okay, so some of you may be new to gardening and you may see in articles or hear people say um, the first leaves or cotyledons and then the true leaves. So I'm gonna show you in a couple of plants here what that means. Okay, so right here, I've got basil. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little. Forgive my hands, because they're a little shaky. But this here, where my that's laying on my fingernail right now, that is the first leaves, or the cotyledons. These leaves in the middle, are the true leaves and that's basil and if you've ever seen a basil plant you know that those are just little baby forms of the leaves they're going to get bigger and if i actually rub this right now and then smell my finger i will smell basil okay another good one is here here's a tomato plant in my um in my cell pack this is i do succession planting which means i plant plants at different times obviously so I planted these tomatoes before I planted these so that way I don't have tomatoes coming in all at once okay so here we go again right here cotyledons first leaves these true leaves and you can tell that that's what if you've ever seen a tomato plant before you know that that is what the true leaves on the tomato look like so true leaves are the actual leaves and the cotyledons is the, are the first two little um, uh, leaves that sprout, okay? Another really great example here is on my watermelon, okay? You have the underside here. See that? Right here where my thumb is. First leaves, cotyledons, and then true leaves okay and that's it guys so now you know the difference when someone says first leaves are true leaves okay here's some here's my uh, my broccoli first leaves true leaves and the true leaves always come up in between the cotyledons so that's a little tip on what people mean by first leaves and true leaves. So I just wanted to share that with you. So for first time gardeners, now you know. Until next time, garden gals and guys, happy gardening.